Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fighters All-Star video, I'm going to talk about gold border characters in general and I'll be giving you the answers that you need to know about the gold border characters and I'll be talking about a lot of things. For example, I'll be talking about that uh, how to use these gold border characters. Are they worthless totally or not? And how to use them i'll also talk about the missions where you can play them and the rewards that you can get uh, get by playing those missions and i also talk about that what type of gold court, gold border characters that you need to use and i'll also, also talk about that what things you need to consider while uh, before uh, you know developing or investing behind your gold border characters because you need to invest a lot of resources so you need to think a lot of th a lot about uh, things right here and we'll be discussing these things in details so there will be a lot of things to cover so make sure you watch this video till the end to know about all these things and before watching this video guys make sure you give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel guys that helps me helps me a ton so let's just uh, get into our topic without any further issue and my first uh, thing about the gold board characters is uh, mostly we talk about that they are worthless and they are not not really useful because we have a ton of ss bs and fast characters in the game and they are kind of useless but they are, are they are not totally worthless at all uh, there are actually two places from where where you can actually uh, gain a lot of rewards by using your gold board characters and first uh, let me talk about these two missions right here uh, for this we need to go to the dungeons and we go to the challenge dungeon right here and we go to the team relay dungeon and here you can see there's a three giants giant mighty most giant welder and giants arms black and the middle one the giant weld welder you don't have to worry about it because you can basically use any character so you, do, you don't have to worry about him you can kill him easily but in the case of giant mighty most and giant arms black there are certain limitations for example you can use only gold board characters in giants arms black and giant mighty most you can see all of my characters are gold and because if you see, uh, select the boss right here there is a thing called team formation cost limit that means this uh, uh, the team you need to form should be uh, within the limit of 59 and as you know that each character has uh, their costs for example if we click on any character let me just show you Here's the thing, it costs 58 and this cost uh, actually indicates the character's strength, strength and overall you know, combat power and everything. And gold border characters are usable in this mission usually because SS, PS or any other fast characters are more than this. They are usually 63 or 65, their cost is usually more than 60. So you need to have uh, these gold border characters or any uh, uh, you know characters that there is basically gold border characters all gold border, gold border characters are below 59 so uh, this is how you have to form this team in order to face these bosses and let me just talk about these rewards right here and you'll be getting a lot of this uh, this R signed coin both green and uh, yellow you can see and all of these souls right here and of course a lot of rubies and rubies will depend on how much damage you're dealing to this boss and if you are able to kill the boss you'll get 50 ruby every time and in a week you can you'll be able to play three times against this guy so that means if you can kill him three times and you can just kill him one time and do an auto play for two times it doesn't matter uh, that will give you 150 ruby every week so this is a really, really nice resource and which is uh, you can farm forever i mean every week you are getting 150 ruby guaranteed 
and the other rewards basically this you this coins are very very useful for you as if you don't know just let me just quickly explain that how you can use these coins Let me just go to the exchange shop quickly and show you how you can use these coins. And here is the shop, the team relay exchange shop. And here, from here, here you can buy this clone zero memory. And with this clone zero memory, you can actually create those dimensional invitations. Let me just uh, show you quickly if you go to memory go to dimensional invitation and here we go you see this clone zero memory i just bought that from there with those coins and three of these memories will help you to get this dimensional invitation that you are looking for in order to awaken your collab characters so basically this mission is really really important so what was the answer are uh, gold border characters worthless no my friends gold border characters are not worthless and you need to develop certain teams in order to beat this boss and get those most number of coins and rubies and other rewards and the same thing goes to giant arm block you just you, you can see all of the characters are gold border characters and no face or SS characters. Same thing right here, same cost limit uh, for the giant arm plug that is even 56, that is even lower than those, you know, 59. So there are certain limitations that I'm going to talk about right now. So that brings us to the next question is what gold border characters can I use? And the answer is of course not uh, gold border characters are usable and it will depend on your roster and i cannot tell you because i am i don't know how many gold characters characters you have or what is your roster but you can get you you can tell it to yourself by just clicking here and deselecting one of the characters and all of these characters are available for you to play all of them if you have them they are available for you to play but i still don't have a lot of characters but there are other characters maybe which are available in the game uh, to play uh, also you can see these uh, characters from epic quest right here but i don't really use them i don't have to use them i, I will tell you why because there is, are certain myths that you need to farm in epic quest and get those characters and complete these bosses no need my friends just go along with any gold border characters that are allowed to use uh, you play in this game and i know that not all gold, bo gold border characters are allowed because uh, for example i have a geese which is a gold border character of course but he is not in the list i cannot see him so there are certain limitations and cost uh, limitations you have to maintain so within if you man, can maintain any cost lim, uh, that cost limitations you can use any gold characters but uh, and if you have their memories just go ahead and awaken them just use them that's it you don't have to farm uh, for a long time for certain characters in epic quest or so and for the giant arm block the limitation is even more because you can use only characters who has a cost limit up to only 56 and if you click on them and deselect them and you can see only these characters are available and not all the characters that we saw earlier okay so you have to keep these things in mind that all gold border characters are not usable and you just get here click in these teams and you will see that which characters are available for these bosses and these are uh, two bosses this giant arms black and this giant mighty most requires separate gold teams and so far i have seen only one character who is common in both team and actually two characters and first of them is this guy right here 
you can use them in both bosses and I guess this girl right here. You can use these two characters in both cases. This is why I, uh, I, I, I told kind of these guy, these two guys are kind of important. So my next question was, what are the things you need to consider before leveling up or you know, investing behind your gold border characters? Now that thing is kind of optional because you really don't know that when or uh, you know what characters you, you're getting but if you uh, can have maybe a 3pg for a certain character that will be really helpful or a 5pg card that will be really helpful but that is not mandatory because if you can just awaken these characters all to 4 star even you can kill this boss without any 3pg or 5pg whatsoever but still you know if they are like two, 2 star awaken or 1 star awaken you might like to have their 3pgs it really depends on for example you can see uh, Kyo right here 97 Kyo he can actually use the 3pg of SS Kyo so I kept him uh, in the team I, I leveled him up and same goes with Yori Yagami 95 he's not a great character at all but I just you know leveled him up for his 3pg that's it guys not a big deal but there are plenty of characters who can do it uh, you know without the 3pg really really well it doesn't really matter much and there are a lot of in-game characters for example this one right here who has a 3pg in-game 3pg right here you can get it from you know the card banners or free summons easily and it's not a big deal so you can actually manage this thing and it's not a big deal right here so guys we have our team ready here and now we are just going to start the battle against this guy so hell yeah and i hope we can beat them and actually it's uh, kind of hard against this boss because these gold border characters are in no way strong they really struggle but the thing is you have to awaken them at least to four star or five star if possible or you need to use uh, let me just change this auto option i don't know where it comes i don't know automatically it gets selected so you need to use a really good set cards if you if you if you want to you know deal some good damages and in it, as in it, as you can see that for each team we can have this uh, only a limited time so you have to do things really really quick whatever you need to do you need to do really really quick and we have five seconds left for the team and nothing much uh, so we want to our second team right here and here we have our Athena and we'll try to spam her as much as we can because we have her 3pg from the SS version which I'm going to use oh yes so let's spam this case right here Gukuru Terry Terry has his 3pg ready we switch and here is going to do his 3pg Terry amazing character right here amazing gold world characters but uh, unfortunately he did throw his wrong 3pg right now anyways we're down to our next team right here and uh, I don't really expect much from this team because none of them has any cards uh, oh, of course I, I forgot to tell you that none of these character has imprint stone or whatever nothing at all no imprint stones whatsoever just simply awakening these characters and using as much as possible good card set that's all I'm doing and we are just uh, about to kill this boss he really uh, think I think we are going to kill this guy really soon and he died even before we reached our final team uh, 
and none of our characters are awakened more than three star and as you can see 50 rupees right here and all these souls and 300 of these coins wow man so this is how you can just beat this guy nothing fancy right here So now once we kill this guy, uh, we can again, you know, fight him and kill him again and again. But no need to do that. We can just do, go ahead and do this auto clears and the same amount of rewards we'll get from our win. We'll get the same rewards twice. So 150 rubies and 900 of those coins. Crazy rewards guys, crazy rewards. So we're done with our giant mighty moss right here and let's check out this giant arms block and as you can see this uh, team right here is pretty much weaker than the other. So guys we have our team ready here and as you can see that we can use a couple of the, um, a couple of characters from the previous boss for example Billy Kane right here, June right here and this uh, winter holiday Yuri right here and we have used them against the My giant mighty most and we can also use them against these characters so make sure that if you have this type of characters that you can use in both bosses definitely go ahead and invest behind them awaken them and I try to keep uh, a good leadership across all of my teams because uh, none of them uh, are actually fully awakened. Only just uh, some of them are only one of them are three star and some of them are two star and mostly one star. And even I have this Andy not even awakened. But still, guys, let's see what we can do. And hell yeah, hell yeah, we gotta kill this guy. Come on. And do the same fact that this character cost is even lower. Definitely they are less less stronger than other gold border characters. But we gotta do it guys. We gotta do it. We gotta do it anyways. This guy's tough. This guy's that kind of tough. I, see, 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 it reminds me of the immortals, you know throwing out bursting things up like immortals okay okay come on do tpg nice the thing is i uh, messed up kind of anyways Okay, we so we're down to our second team right here. Now we are doing with. Oh man, this uh, version of Yori it takes like forever to build up his 3PG. I don't even know whether I'll be able to use his 3PG or not. See, other characters is doing defaults or whatever. Okay, come on, do it. Hell yeah. We're gonna use this uh, spam Yuri and this girl right here. Switch back, do her 3PG. Great job, girl. So, maybe this last team, right? Can we kill? Can we kill him at all? I mean. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, that's surprising, guy. Right? This Andy is not even awakened. Wow, and we killed this guy on a 30. Woo, Terry, nice pose, man. I love him. Classic King of Fighters character, man. Love him big time. So you see, 50 rubies right here, and again, 300 of these coins, and all those souls. And we're going to do the same thing right here. Just uh, go ahead and auto clear. Because I have killed him, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything much to do. I just auto clear. But if you want to improve your scores, or maybe if you want to improve your rewards, 
you can of course try once again by playing or maybe if you are not satisfied with your performance you can quit the match in between and start again it doesn't really matter this is the same way you do the kills so basically we are done with our weekly ruby collection from this year you can do the giant welder and uh, let me just do the giant welder uh, it should probably take a minute or so right so we are simply using our strongest team to get this thing as soon as uh, possible because uh, this video is getting a lot long. Sorry guys. I just, uh, you know, I, I, I tried to finish it and show you that uh, and in this uh, against this guy, you know, this guy right here, this giant, uh, whatever, I forgot. Here you can actually any use any one of your face or you know limited banner characters, any characters, it doesn't really matter. Any characters, you can use any characters. And see, see he, is, he is died, he died. So it was a matter of seconds, so I didn't I, I hadn't had hadn't I didn't had to waste your times, but uh, I just wanted to show you that look at this rewards once again. Same amount of rewards, 50 rubies, 300 of these coins, and all the souls so just uh, i just go ahead auto clear this wow 150 rupees so guys the equation is 150 ruby from each of these giants that equals 450 rupees every week from this dungeon and a lot of these coins as you can see that is stored I have got a lot of coins that would be really helpful and you can see I can buy a lot of things right here so guys that was uh, all about the uh, you know gold border characters guide and about how to use them and where to use them basically uh, I tried to deliver all the informations let me know in the comments that what you think about your characters uh, and what you think about my characters and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video please just uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel guys I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome stay safe peace out